Freedom. It's something that we are proud of as Americans. We enjoy a lot of freedoms. But when was the last time that you thought of yourself as free being a Christian? Hold on a second, Matthew. You might think to yourself, we are free to come to Christ, welcome to obey the gospel, but we're not free to do whatever we want. There are commands we must, we must obey and sins we must abstain from. And also, aren't we called to be servants of God? Yes, that's true. And all that being said, the Bible tells us that we are more free than any worldly person out there. Turn with me to John 8, 31 through 36. John 8, 31 through 36. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are offspring of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How is it that you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not remain in the house forever. The son remains forever. So if the son sets you free, you'll be free indeed. You catch that key part? Everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. We do sin, and we fall short of expectations, but we do not practice sin. We turn from it. We are freed by Jesus through baptism from our sins. Let's turn to 2 Peter 2. 17 through 19. 2 Peter 2, 17 through 19. And just for some context, this is talking about some bad people. It says, For these are waterless springs and mists driven by a storm. For them the gloom of utter darkness has been reserved. For speaking loud boasts of folly, they entice by sensual passions of the flesh those who are barely escaping from those who live in error. They promise them freedom, but they themselves are slaves of corruption. For whatever overcomes a person is to that he is enslaved. The mindset of a good portion of worldly people that I've talked to about Jesus is that they just don't want to be held back. They want to live their promiscuous lives of drunkenness, uh, selfishness, and greed. They will tell you that they are more free because they can do these things in whatever they feel like. And that is something I think sometimes we get wrong as Christians. Mindset that, I'm sorry, I can't go get drunk with you. I'm a Christian. Or I can't follow my desires for those women. The mindset that I'm not allowed to do that. I'm a Christian. We are free from a sinful life of depression, continuous unsatisfaction, and ultimately death, because the price of sin is death. We are free of that through Christ, in belief, baptism, and turning from our sinful nature. Having the mindset of being restricted from certain ways of life is far less productive than the mindset of being free from the enslavement of sin. The truth is, we are servants. We either serve God's purpose or Satan's purpose. Those who believe they serve themselves and are just working for their own personal gain or money are really just serving Satan's purpose. Matthew 6, 24, Jesus says, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and, and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Sin has some similarities in my mind to drug addiction. And it's drug addiction is ironic because the people that are trying drugs are in a way looking for freedom. They're looking for a way to be free of any inhibitions and any um, anything to hold them back. They just want to uh, be free in a uh, mindset of just comfort and they want to escape any um, thing, any concerns going on in their life. They're looking for that freedom. But if you've ever had any relationship with someone who has been affected by drugs, it is very sad because they are not free. They are enslaved. They are imprisoned by that. 
they a lot of the time um, they don't make it out of that. But as for our case with sin, that's that's not true because we uh, we have um, Jesus to set set us free from our sins. So if anyone um, has any needs or wishes to be baptized, come forward now as we stand and sing. When we